Cap de Cruz, Cape of the Cross, a perfect little corner of Spain's Costa Brava just south of the French border, a part of Catalonia known throughout the world for its unique dramatic shoreline, and nowhere is its beauty more apparent than here. I took the short drive from Cadaqués and found a scenic gold mine for day hiking. It's easy to see why Salvador Dali invited all his rock and roll buddies to party here in the 60s and 70s. It's remote and gorgeous. Well, that beach is the goal. So the beginning of this hike from the lighthouse is a little bit iffy on the footing at first, but after just a minute or two, it normalizes and it's a straight shot right out to the water. It's probably less than five minutes from the road to the water, it looks like. It's dry and windy up here, and not many trees. Cap de Cruz possesses its own unique beauty, and it's everywhere you look. And I love this flower right here. It's found a nice little place to uh, make a living here. Classic. This means a lot to people of a certain age. Pop top. Who knows? Maybe Mick or Keith left this here when they were drinking a hams. The trail moves along the shoreline and the cliffs. Well, it's five minutes to the water's edge. But if you want to go to that beach down there, it's quite a bit more than that. There's a few switchbacks and I'm still trying to figure out how to pick my way down there. After about 15 minutes, I was right on top of the beach that I'd spotted. Now I just had to get down there. Aha, I spotted a couple of people coming up from this little path right here. So if this is not the way, it's definitely a way. I had to carefully pick my way down a rocky hillside through a little tunnel in the brush. I channeled my inner bunny. Oh, I'm here, I can see the water right there. So it's not too difficult, but that little section right there boosts it up from an easy hike to a medium level. You gotta be ready to pick through some rocks and some trees. It was worth it. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This is the easternmost point in Spain where the Pyrenees disappear into the sapphire waters of the Mediterranean. A more beautiful spot on this planet doesn't exist. And I can imagine being here in the summertime, it would be amazing. Well, it's amazing now, but wouldn't mind going for a swim. I think I might get my feet wet though. This being April, the water was still a little too cold for my taste but the air had warmed to the point where it felt good to cool my feet. Uh, yeah, not this time of year. I started my climb back to the trail to explore a little further. Well, no free lunches, you definitely gotta earn it. The trail weaved inland along a beautiful stone wall, flanked by colorful wildflowers all along the way. I continued on for about another 15 minutes after that first beach and was rewarded with this magnificent view and yet another little secluded cove down there. Uh, looks to be about a half hour down, half hour back up and it's been a long day. I'm just gonna admire this one from afar. Sure is gorgeous here. I took about two hours to do that hike and it felt just about right. I didn't rush it, kind of a measured pace. I spent a lot of time taking photos and taking little detours here and there. I was shocked to see it only took me about 15 minutes to get back to the car from that headland. Of course, that did not include that little uh, detour down to that beach. But uh, what's the point of doing a hike like that if you're not going to take the detours, right? <laughs> 